Hi team, today we are here to talk about the Sun and Jupiter square that is going to be taking place on the 27th of January. So this is going to be the aspect of the week. I picked this one because this is the only square this week and actually we've got really nice aspects going on. So I thought let's pick the least challenging one because actually Jupiter and, and Sun square is not necessarily the a very difficult one. Okay, so it could work out in a really positive way as well if we use it well. Now, if you would like to hear about the rest of the aspects of the week, we've got some really exciting ones, then you might want to be signing up on my YouTube membership program. And then you get approximately about 10 videos a month about lunation, lunation reports. I'm going to break that down, break them down to your individual sign as well. And you get the aspect of the video, for example, for each of the 12 signs. So this is probably a very intense astrological forecast that you can use for your own benefits. But let's get going about this Sun and Jupiter square. So it happens on the 27th of January. It is going to be happening on 6 degree of Aquarius to 6 degree of Taurus. Now, because the sun is a making B square to Jupiter, so you can work a little bit more with the sun because the sun is coming up to Jupiter to have a conversation with him, right? So sun is making this approach to Jupiter. And sun being on sixth degree is actually the third dwarf of the sign, which would be Aries. So when I look at Aries and Aquarius energy together, this is a freedom fighter. And Taurus is about finances. So it's very much about, I want to be break free financially from someone or from something. And then what Jupiter and Saturn wants us to work with, sorry, Jupiter and Sun, what they want us to work with is to have the confidence to do so. Jupiter is going to be uplifting your spirit a little bit to get going that you can do it. You have got all the necessary tools, what you need. Because Jupiter is in Taurus, right? And Taurus is our tools, what we can use to get better at something. But also the negative side of Sun and Jupiter that we can overdo things as well. Overstretching ourselves, overdoing it, maybe overeating, be becoming overly confident, for example. We think that we are stronger than what actually we are. And then, of course, it can backfire. So we do need to be careful. This is an aspect that is, that is telling you to know your own limits. Be aware of them. You know, do I have the right knowledge? Jupiter. Do I need to actually pick up more knowledge? Because this is a square. And the square does talk about adjustments. So, but of course, the sun, for example, talking to you about the confidence element as well. So do you have the confidence to go as big? Maybe this is telling you to go big or to go home. No more play around, right? It's on an Aries word. No more playing around. Let's get going. Also, this is testing your strength. Taurus, Aquarius, both are fixed signs. So it is about strength. The strength to be free in a way and the strength to be breaking away from something. And well, do you have the strength? Maybe this is a question you're going to have to give an answer to. Sun also represents our vitality. So it can actually increase your vitality. It can push it up. It can push up, for example, your blood pressure a little bit. But remember, the sun is in, the, in, in a sign of detriment. So we can feel a bit down. And then Jupiter is coming to give us hope. And it tries to get us going. It tries to get us out of the bed, for example, and to get going so that we pump some blood in our body. Jupiter represents blood in our system. 
So maybe one of the questions you're going to have to answer today is, or not just today, but this is going to last for approximately about a week. What to do to make you feel better? What makes you feel better? It might be also asking you, because sun is in the sign of Aquarius, we can be sometimes a little bit worried about future. We can be worried to get lost in the crowd. So maybe the question is that how to stand out. But the square element would tell you to make adjustments so that you can actually stand out. Make adjustments when it comes to your goals. Push for freedom. Become self-employed, for example. What restricts you? Where, what area of life do you feel restricted? Because Jupiter might be trying to actually make you feel more optimistic about that. It is telling you to be more optimistic because you can make a change. Aquarius often is connected to change. Maybe we're going to have to stand up for ourselves. Maybe, maybe we're going to have to speak up. Maybe actually it's not just about preaching, but actually following your own example. So it's kind of like walking your talk type of, you know, we say in my language, and I love the saying that the priest who drinks wine but speaks water. So basically he tells us not to drink wine, but in the evening he has a couple of glasses. So if you say not to drink a glass of wine, then don't do it yourself, right? But also this is testing your belief system as well. So actually, do you do something that you believe in? Or do you have the right belief system about your confidence level, about your financial abilities, for example? Uh, with Jupiter, which is also the representation of meaning to life, most likely you are going to feel a little bit more anxious about finding meaning to life. What am I here to do? And maybe the answer is that this week you are meant to be learning. You are meant to be seeing the bigger picture. You are meant to be understanding something or someone around you, how they function. Because sun is in the sign of Aquarius and Aquarius is a mental energy. It could, by the way, indicate that you are going to be very intuitive this week as well. Maybe just you're going to be able to get a grasp on a topic that you have been learning about, for example. Maybe you are going to be very interested in occult studies this week, and then you're going to do a bit of a research about that. I feel like with the Sun and Jupiter, it's being open-minded, getting out of your comfort zone. Because Aquarius, Jupiter, both are really freedom-loving. So I really feel like this aspect is about finding your foot in the world. And a little bit maybe connected to the Fool card in Tarot. So let's just pack the bags and then let's go. Let's go on an adventure. And you know what? We might be afraid of that adventure because Jupiter is in Taurus. It's hard to get out. It's hard to get Taurus to get out of their comfort zone. But maybe you just need that push, that square. And maybe that's going to be a, another person. You need that push to get out of it. And then you're going to enjoy the process. Like, think about this way. You might have been the student at one point. You have been the priest who was, you know, preaching about wine. Maybe you need to become the student again and listen to someone. Or maybe someone will need your advice. And then it tells you to follow your own advice. So this is about encouragement as well. Also, I find it very interesting, by the way, that the modern ruler of Aquarius, which is Uranus, going also direct today, of course, in the sign of Taurus. And Jupiter and Tor uh, sorry, Jupiter and Uranus are really close by now. By the way, I would like to mention that I do not believe for a second that Uranus would be the ruler of um, Aquarius. I think it's impossible for multiple reasons. I don't want to go into that. I made recently a webinar about it. So if you are interested, check that out. But no way that Uranus would be the ruler of Aquarius. But that's my intake on it. 
other things I want to talk about, because Sun and Jupiter is very interesting to me. Sun takes about 12 months to get around the zodiacal circle. Jupiter takes 12 years. Jupiter is the temple of the ninth sign, where Jupiter, where Sun has got plenty joy. I mean, we are connected somehow. I think Sun and Jupiter aspect is, you know, Jupiter always wants to push us forward, to raise awareness and give us inner richness. It's the planet that is about thirst for knowledge and experience. So maybe with that sun, we just need technological experience, for example, and not to be too rigid about using, I don't know, computers. Maybe this aspect is telling you, let's simplify some of the tasks, what you have got on your table, for example. Uh, Jupiter is the planet of evolving, the ability to evolve. It's about the improvement we can do in our whole life. So, of course, because Jupiter is about understanding how the world functions on a larger scale. Look at the symbol of Jupiter. It's a cross, and then we've got the cross, right? And then we've got the crescent moon there. So we've got the four cardinal points of the chart, the MC, IC, AC, Descendant, and then we've got the crescent moon phase, which would be talking to us about intuition. So what happens here is that the intuitive plane fertilizes the material plane. So what it means to me, actually, that when we bring knowledge and intuition together, we've got all the wisdom, the knowledge, and the ability to just or justify something the way we need to. You know, the crescent moon is the symbol of the unconscious imagination and intuition. So it's it's lovely, I would say. But also uh, in Kabbalah, in the Kabbalistic tree of life, Jupiter is connected to the fourth um, dimension there. And if I'm not mistaken, that is somehow connected with fertility. Now, when we look at the Jupiterian qualities, which is about hot and wet, there is an element of uniqueness going on with Jupiter anyway, because there is no pair to Jupiter. There is no another planet that is hot and wet. So Jupiter is about fertility in a way. This is the reason why it's the natural significator of kids. So even the sun squared Jupiter is all about basically the way you play out your cards is the way how you gonna end up. Like, you know, if you want to be lucky, you're gonna get lucky with that. And that would be really interesting, I think. Yeah, there is shadow side to Jupiter as well, which is about inconsistency. But these two now are in fixed signs. And I think there is an element of consistency going on with them. Yes, when you have got too many things going on, you're going to have to pick with them, though. And that's definitely something, you know, because we can get too inspired. Or Jupiter often starts something, but it burns out. Thank God it's in the sign of Taurus, which is one of the most stubborn ones. You know what? It might be very hard to get Taurus to get going, but once they go, Jesus, you cannot shoot them down. You would need an army to stop them. That's how stubborn they can be. So Jupiter either increases the stubbornness here, and then you know what it's kind of like when you sleep, even if there is a bomb blowing up right next to you, you wouldn't wake up, or actually it's gonna get you out of the bedroom and you're gonna get going. And this is the big question here now. Is that bomb getting you out of bed or actually you're just going to bury yourself in the bedroom again? The other thing with Jupiter is that every single disappointment in life proves that the world is a harsh place. And Sun is in Aquarius. Aquarius represents the world. So it can come with disappointment, but... 
is it gonna, you know, is it gonna knock you out or is it gonna actually make you stronger? And I feel like with the Aries word, it would like to make you stronger. Another very interesting thing is about the sun and Jupiter, that sun and Jupiter are both the kings. Jupiter is Zeus, so the kings of all kings, I mean, or the, um, the, the, the god of all gods, and the sun is the king archetype. So we've got two planets that are connected to leadership. Shadow side, the boosted ego, being big-headed or being extremely noble, but of course, because we want to be loved, right? So it's being pushed to get successful in a way, just making sure that we are not big-headed and we don't forget where we came from. And this could be really important with this aspect as well. So a couple of negative ones, it's about gluttony, for example, or greed. But also remedy wise, you know, Sun and Jupiter being able to laugh at ourselves. This is about grabbing opportunity and also remembering that your own identity is tied together with your religion, spiritual belief systems, or just let's put it as belief systems overall. So, guys, this would be my analysis briefly on this aspect. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please press like. And then if you would like to learn more about the upcoming weeks, then you might want to consider signing up for my membership zone on YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you soon.